Okay, hey girls. Um, it's morning and I really need my coffee. Plus, this is uh, Tim Hortons coffee that every time you buy in coffee. Uh, I'm not sure how much, but the money go to the camp for kids who can't afford and they having a good time uh, in a campground. So that's a good cost to buy coffee right now. Um, many of you asked me how I store my beads that left from diamond painting, so what kind of storage I'm using. So I'm going to show you uh, what I do. I have here, <coughs> excuse me, I have here uh, from one diamond painting and here is from another diamond painting. So both of these uh, beads are from Zoe Star but two different stores. One is Zoe Star Boutique and uh, this is from Butterflies and this one Zoe Star um, oh goodness I cannot remember but I mean I told you before about two of the stores that kind of similar name uh, and they both I did not like any of that store so what I do uh, after I have left my beads after painting and I finished my butterfly last night so what I did last night I went through every um, of this uh, they are labeled in order this way go and I put each of them on my tray I emptied out and then I use my here you go I use my stylist and I pick all bad beads where was in it to my trusty Tic Tac container. Look how many already I collected. Almost half. So I pick all bad beads, then I put them back in here. Then I look, so I did this with all of them. And then if I have same number DMC codes from my other paintings. I pull out that box, pour in here, pull out all bad beads with the holes, damage, garbage, plastic, and then I would put them together in one container. So that way I have um, more and more beads collected in this tray and I wish I would have more but I will I will buy some more so uh, that's my empty containers that I actually emptied to here last night so I know it's a uh, lots of work you know you have to go through each beads kind of like you know shake it up on a tray and just uh, by using my magnifier glasses I can see all the damaged beads but that's the way I work. I like to organize my stuff in perfect condition. So that's what I do. I make them absolutely looking good now. There's no bad beads. Maybe, you know, some left that I missed or, uh, you know, did not see it. But it's good now. So now I have here um, all DMC colors from both paintings. This ones, guys, that did not find spot in this container because I do not have enough storage in here and this is totally different numbers and I have lots in here in a cheap Ziploc bag still left. So what I'm going to do with this one, I have here, I bought in a dollar store. Uh, these bags are much bigger and really kind of thick plastic, very sturdy. Not sure if I can open this one hand. Um, so, yeah. Let me just try to fight with it. Okay. The lock is good. Okay. So, as you see, let me just push a little bit over. Here is this bag and this is the other bags. So you see the difference. This one is really, really thin. It's so easy to break and it's very really hard to separate them to open. And this one is much bigger, thicker plastic and easy to open and, and zip close really tight. So 
uh, all this beads I will put in a zip locks and they have the numbers up there inside if you can see from original bags which is okay uh, black ink uh, stays good on this um, plastic bags and not wipe out easily with the beads when they run in through them uh, the gold one yeah gold one uh, ink would be wiped out from this piece so I'm just gonna put each of this from the plastic in a zip bags with the number and I will store them for now in these containers and look at this guys this container is from the cake haha <laughs> here's another for you free uh, storage tip so I even have the cover from the cake top lid well that would be bottom this is top so I'm just using it upside down and I put my butterfly sheet in here I will put here my horse sheet so I know it's from two painting will be diamonds all my ziplock bags with diamonds will be here and then empty containers of this one will be empty I will use for my next diamond painting to organize in uh, containers because it is it's easier to open so that's how I do so this one all this one I did not clean them yet I just cleaned those colors that I have room storage for here so right now it's 11 in the morning uh, I will clean all them and then put in a ziplock and put away in my this container close lid no dust will get in and put downstairs in my craft room to store if you know when I need it or somebody else need it and I can help for somebody to help and I'm so thankful that a uh, lady f from last night uh, on my uh, YouTube she offered to send to me for free missing beads to my butterfly and I actually check all my beads I do not have that color um, so thank you so much for being kind and that's how I store my beads that is left the rest of beads right now what I gonna do also uh, if I have a better quality beads I'm not gonna mix them with this one because this is kind of like a mismatch uh, some 3d some 5d like different cuts so if I will have perfect beads from other paintings I will keep them separately because the quality is everything to me okay also I will do same thing with round beads I have already two uh, round beads that uh, it, it's gonna be for sale from me and I know that all those beads are really good so I will uh, keep them together the beads from Aliexpress I will keep separately so that way I know where beads are good where it is like okay so that's how I store my beads and that's the tip for you for today guys so you know clean them up and you know you have no garbage left and as you see my 310 is absolutely empty because from both painting you saw my beads last night in the video I tossed them all in the garbage I cannot stand all the mess and they were really really bad so guys cheers and I see you next time have a great day